Hi, I'm Brad Besankin, and this is Robert Riggs, and we're here to talk to you again with the Clarity Clip of the Week. I want to first start with talking about putting some common sense back in social. I know everything out there right now is data-driven, data-driven, data-driven. We certainly would never get away from the data on kind of what that picture is that it's painting, but I think one of the other things we need to look about is a little common sense back in social. So for example, Robert, one of the things we see in the analytics in Hootsuite and Sendable type programs, even on Facebook and stuff is when your audience is online, when you have the best probability for engagement, et cetera. And I think people spend way too much time on that instead of pulling back a little bit and just putting some common sense, thinking about their own lives and how they interact right. with social media. For example, when are you on social media? First thing, get up in the morning may, after the coffee, maybe then after, after work gets started. Yep. Then we're rolling up towards lunch. Maybe we're checking before lunch what right. our friend's doing. Come back from lunch, check yep. in. But morning, afternoon lull. Yeah, then laugh, you know, mid-afternoon sort of lull. There's a break. And then later in the evening after you're home. Right. So put a little thought into that as kind of what your audience might be doing. Pretty good chance they're going to be on in the morning sometime. Around lunchtime, whether they're eating lunch at their desk or they're out with their friends or groups, they're going to be doing yep. something on social right before leaving work, and then probably right before in the evening watching a show or something. So think about that as well. Yeah, and don't neglect weekends. And also you look at Facebook Insights and you want to you know, start that way, but then see what it actually is happening. And if you're using Sendable or Hootsuite or some of the other uh, tools, you can surely see it in there. Right, and yeah. so what that helps you do is what? Train your audience. Now, I'm out of broadcast television, and there is a reason the TV guide used to exist. There is something in our that's old school. Yeah, in our DNA and our minds that we we like to know the time. We like to have it. You know, we used to call it appointment television, but we like to know what time something is come on, coming on, and that applies to the web as well. Is For that sure. I might not be able to make it there at that time on the web, but I'm always kind of got to know that it is there. So you want to train your audience of when to expect you, and you can only kind of do that when you start to see when they like to be there. But then you got to stick to the schedule, just like TV Guide does. You know, you can't have a blank screen come up. That's right. And I think the whole thing about it is with good quality content, yes. that's going to draw them back in for that, for that expectation. Well, I'm Brad, and that's Robert, and that's our Clarity Clip of the Week.